next slide is about medium, uh, medium level modulator as well but this type of modulator is a little bit different with the one I have explained earlier uh, where actually at this uh, in this modulator it uses a tank circuit that is connected to the collector of a transistor so before this uh, for the medium level modulator we use the RFC remember so uh, on this medium level modulator we don't use the RFC but a tank circuit to the collector so when we use this one I think for the tank circuit you, we already uh, learned this in chapter 3 uh, we use coil and, and coil and capacitor uh, and this also uh, we produce almost similar uh, uh, output all right before the antenna and produce uh, a better a medium sorry medium power uh, output or envelope okay so this is for the medium level modulator the rest are the same because the base will be on uh, will be connected uh, directly to the carrier uh, the emitter will be to the base and for the collector will be uh, connecting or directly applied to the uh, modulating signal uh, next is the AM transmitter system. So uh, we learn about how we can design a modulator and then what kind of AM signal that we want uh, for our system. Okay. Next is how we can uh, design our system using that uh, modulator as well as what we desire uh, to get or we want to get from the uh, at the output. All right, so there are few um, components that you need uh, inside your transmitter. All right, first is the preamplifier, right? And we we, we uh, use this mostly using linear voltage amplifier with high input impedance. All right, why we need this? Because we want to raise the amplitude of the source signal. This might be the information signal as well to a usable level which producing minimum non-linear distortion. So we want to produce the AM signal but with very minimum distortion, right? Next is the RF carrier oscillator. All right, this is a uh, to be the, the carrier uh, generator, all right, carrier signal generator, uh, work as oscillator uh, and produce the carrier signal to the uh, to the system. And next is buffer amplifier. We want it to be low gain uh, but high input impedance linear amplifier to isolate the oscillator from the high power amplifiers. Next is the block diagram. Uh, we have the low level and also the high level for a transmitter for AM signal. So this one is the low level because it uses in low power and low capacity system where we will use a modulator to modulate a carrier. So this is the carrier part and also modulating signal. All right. Uh, and then uh, we process the modulated wave over here. This one is modulated wave area until uh, it goes to the antenna all right so when we see on this uh, kind of uh, broad diagram system uh, the process that we do after we modulate the carrier and also the modulating signal over here is quite long for uh, so that the modulated wave in that we produce for modulator will be having uh, 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 enough power to be transmitted into the antenna. Okay, so that's for low level. For the high level, all right, we also have a modulator over here, um, and uh, it is similar to low level transmitter that I have shown just now, but it's use addition of power amplifiers it use more uh, power amplifiers uh, compared to the one that i have shown in low level transmitter so why we need this um, power amplifiers i mean more than what low level have used because we want to produce or provide high power modulating signal uh, that is necessary to get the 100% modulation index Right. So back to this uh, block diagram, 
so this is the modulator all right we want to modulate the carrier so this is the carrier uh, signal generator and up here is the uh, modulating signal um, generator so uh, what we mean by high level is that when we produce the carrier signal we need this power amplifier all right to uh, to produce higher power for the carrier so that it will produce a uh, higher modulated wave and after uh, come up from a modulator the process that uh, the modulated signal went through is not as much as what what uh, in the low level transmitter so we just just we need just to filter and then uh, we can uh, transmit through an antenna so this is the difference between the low level and also the high level am transmitter specifically for the double sideband uh, full carrier right so that's it for chapter four uh, on the next video uh, you will learn about chapter five uh, on the reception system of am signal thank you for uh, watching